In this update of Grid Cartographer, we've simplified the way versions are numbered. Starting from 2020.11, each update will be numbered based on the year and month of its release. Here's a look at some of the changes in this version. In this update, the interface menus have been redesigned. There is now a single unified menu bar running along the full length of the interface. It includes a combination of both a map editing and emulation commands. This approach makes the location of options more consistent and more readily available whatever you are doing in the application. One exception to note is that the audio menu has been removed. You can find these options, including the force mono option, on the status bar pop-up. Simply click the speaker icon to open the menu, or right click to quickly toggle mute on or off. The viewport maximize and type select drop-down buttons are now an overlay rather than a part of the menu bar. Also, there are now convenient keyboard shortcuts for switching between viewports. To switch to the next viewport, simply hold CTRL and press TAB. This command will cycle through all of the viewports and wrap around to the beginning when you reach the last one. To cycle in a reverse order, hold down CTRL and SHIFT before pressing TAB. The 3D viewport got a new feature in this update which we're calling Stein Cubes. This new render mode lets you quickly visualise a 2D map as a 3D environment. To use it, simply draw on the terrain layer as normal, then switch to the 3D viewport. Under the Shading Modes menu, you can find a new option for Stein Cubes. Selecting it turns the terrain layer into cubes, similar in appearance to a ray casting engine. Note that in this mode, the avatar marker is still only constrained by edges, so a walled block is recommended to create a more solid feel to the environment. To create textured floors in this mode, using the ceiling marker will suppress the cube effect for those tiles. A handful of other improvements have been made for this release, including improved map loading performance. Please check out the release notes for a full list of changes. A link to that is in the description. I hope you enjoy this update to Grid Cartographer. And finally, a big thank you to all my patrons for your continued support. Thanks!